Hello. In this video, I will show you how to assemble the side mount liberty. You will take the scrubber cartridge, take the scrubber, and put it inside. Like so. Then take the head, take this square, put it inside of the pin so it locks in place. And now you will want to push until the head closes and there is no visible separation between the body and the head. Make sure that your batteries are connected. It's really hard to disassemble it. Now you will want to take your S hoses and they're labeled H and C. H for head and C for counter lung. First, you will want to take H center for the center hole on the head. There's a dot in here and the dot in here. You will want to Put it in so it matches, press it in, and rotate it so it locks in place. You will do the same for the H rim or head rim for the other hole. Dot and dot, press it in, rotate it to lock it in. It will form a V-shape like so. And that is the tank assembled. The first thing you want to do is take the holding strap and put it around the tank canister. Loop it through the first hole. Tighten it. Now through the second. And then tighten it further, lead it around, and strap on the Velcro. Now just adjust the positioning, and now you have the handle attached. What you want to do now is take the handset, the other one, and the HUD, along with the cables on the side mount, and put them out of the way. Then you will want to open the two Velcros right here. so that it is possible to put the scrubber canister on the side mount. There is a pin in here and a corresponding pin hole in here. You will want to take the scrubber canister, tilt it, and put it on the rack. The banjo right here has to be rotated 180 degrees so it's pointing upwards. Put that on the rack and shift it ever so slightly so it falls into the hole. You can take a look from the bottom side so you can see where it's at. Now that you have attached the scrubber cylinder, you'll want to secure it with these two straps. Take the first strap, lead it through the first buckle, tighten it, through the second buckle, tighten it again and attach it to the Velcro and then secure it with the second one. You do the exactly the same thing with the second strap, First buckle, tighten. Second buckle, secure. And then the second strap. Now you have secured your scrubber canister. Now that you have connected the scrubber canister to the rack, you will want to connect the oxygen hose to the oxygen banjo. You will screw it in, no need to use a wrench, just use your fingers but screw it in tightly so no gas will escape. After you have tightened it, you will take this cap and you will want to pull it over the whole thing. So when you hit it against a rock or some other debris, it will not damage the mandro. 
Now that you have connected the oxygen to the head, you will connect up the gas tanks to the rebreather. When you're connecting up the tanks, first thing you want to do is you want to open it up. Open the Velcro straps. Take all the hoses and all the cables and put them to the back. You're not going to be needing them now and just keep them neat and organized. Take the bottle. Put it in like so. Take off the cover from your first stage and just screw it in. Now, take the bottle and push it in as much as it goes, and then secure it with the two Velcro straps. First one, and the second one. Now you'll want to take your second tank, in this case the oxygen. Again, open the straps. Put the tank in, take your first stage, and screw it in place. Push it in, and secure. One, and two. Now that you have the tanks secured, you will want to lead the hoses through the middle, like so. There are two Velcro straps between the tanks in which you're going to place the hoses along with the HUD cable. The handset cables are going to be led elsewhere, depending on where you would like them positioned. You're then going to secure them, like so. One and two. Now we're going to place the counter lung and attach it to the side mount. Firstly, you will take the pressure gauges and loosely coil them on the tanks. Then you will take the counter lung and take the left port, put it perpendicular to the body of the side mount, and as was with the head, dot on dot, and you will press it in and twist it. Now with the second one, you want to push it in. It should pop in. And then you will just twist back. There are these three Velcro straps, which you will open and which you will lead through these holes. One, two, and three. You will do the same thing on the other side, and then you have attached the counter lung. Now that you have connected your counter lungs, you will want to connect the loop. First, dot on dot, push it in, and spin to pose. Now it's locked. Take the other one with the ADV. And again, dot on dot, push, close. And now there is this threading. You will want to connect this up and screw it in. Now that it's screwed in, rotate it so it goes inward. Nothing should be facing out. Take your two hoses, green for oxygen and black for Duland. Screw them in accordingly to their color coding. 
to the MAVs. And again, the same for the Diluent EDB. Then you will want to take the cable with the HUD or head up display attached and plop it in to the top of your mouthpiece. This is how the unit looks assembled and fully converted. You can either convert it from a Liberty you already have by using the head and the canister, or you can get it all by itself. Thank you for your attention, and if you have any further questions, please consult the user manual or send us a question through email or through Facebook.